Hello everyone, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising <coughs> Monthly Tarot Reading June 2018 So this is going to be 4 position and hand spread and the first position shows up the topic for Virgos The second position shows up the challenges for Virgos due the month The third position shows up <coughs> the positive aspect of the month for Virgo and the last position shows the final outcome or in other words the result of all that as this is an enhanced spread this will be uh, the, the positions will involve multiple cards or in our case two cards per position and the first position which is the topic of your month Virgos this is the Knight of Wands with the Eight of Cups so this isn't the person Virgos. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is uh, uh, the, the state where you have no staying power at this very at this very month. So the month is going to be filled with enterprises or let's say with activities you want to invest yourself in. That could be that many um, many people around you or kind of like many friends around you will want your attention. You have way too much opportunities into your working place or into your relationship as well to spend. Uh, uh, quality time with your partner in many different ways the problem will be the problem of choosing here right because you can't you because you can um, invest just so much I mean the day has only 24 hours and you have to choose how to um, <clears throat> you know how how to make a use of them so what these cards are pointing here with the knight of wands is that you should focus more more upon your career right this is based on the tarot cards elements and uh, keywords but what I would say is uh, that you guys need to find the things which makes you happy what I what I mean is that if your career makes you more happier than uh, being into your relationship then devote more time into your career the thing with the Knight of uh, Wands is that you are gonna have a, a very big amount of energy so you're gonna feel restless during the month the problem with that kind of a uh, um, uh, the vigorous energy is that burns you out which means that you're uh, very quickly start losing interest into things which are not fulfilling you emotionally even if you find them amusing at the start all right so it's very important here to recognize which kind of activity and enterprise during the month fulfills you emotionally and thus start um, <clears throat> advancing in it forward and even if you have on the back of your thoughts all right doubt and regards that you could have invest your time in a better place this is displayed here with uh, the uh, eight of cups uh, you need to know that even if right now you're uh, you're not satisfied by the situation that you can't invest ev um, everywhere all right uh, from your time or from your money etc or from your efforts uh, I, I am much bright, uh, greater brighter and as well broader perspective awaits you out there in the future right now this month for you Virgos is just filling up the gap of the month so I advise you to uh, make the most out of it by having fun and doing the things that you really really like the challenges of the month for you we do have the seven of swords so you are going to be criticized just by seeing that card next to the knight of wands and then we do have the star card yeah you're gonna be criticized from those which are supporting you all right uh, people may ask you may uh, name you selfish you know people may uh, may name you as well irresponsible childish immature etc etc it is because uh, you are investing into your own personal happiness and not for the common good all right <clears throat> so uh Th these couple of cards are just uh, pointing here that you have to make a very good argument why you are doing what you are doing and I can give you one right now I mean no matter how much you try to satisfy everyone around you you will never be able to so the very first person one needs to satisfy is themselves and it is exactly what you need to do during that month the fact that we do have the star card with the eight uh, with the seven of swords in the um, in a disadvantage position or in the challenges it means that also people will try to uh, how can I place it try to present you uh, that this what you're doing enjoying yourself it will be a uh, prerequisite to your fall 
which isn't true all right it is just <clears throat> this is how those around you which are supporting you seeing it so that's why you need to be very clear of that you need a, a, a bit of break and you need to have a little bit of fun as well the uh, positivity of the month that will be the sun card and the fun it is what you're gonna have Virgos with the three of pent with, with the three of cups I mean I did these cards really speak don't they so uh, what these cards are pointing is that you are going to be the very very heart in the center of uh, of your small universe or in the center of your company in the you will be the uh, the very center of a party you go to uh, you will be quite so very an example for some people how life needs to be um, led in general not to mention that these cards points that you are going to attract a lot with your enthusiasm and with, with your presence in general and when you combine yourself or rather when you invest yourself into common ex into yeah common experiences or mutual experiences with people which are there to celebrate so these mutual experience should be experiences of celebrations all right all right you're going to realize that these celebra celebrations actually are going to recharge you with a vital energy and on top of that uh, is they are going to make your worries even less not to mention that you will be able to express negative emotions and just uh, leave them there so it also speaks for sharing and these cards as well <clears throat> as soon as you start doing that it is very likely that you may make peace with a, a friend of yours that you are in a bad terms at this very moment so if you want a recuperation and mending of a certain relationship um, a certain status of relationship this is the way you do it just show that you want fun and start doing fun, um, not funny things but things out of fun that will uh, make you really enjoy your time and your time running pleasant very important is as well to be, to not be very um, <clears throat> demanding and serious but rather being carefree adaptable uh, adaptable and playful when you deal with people around you and the results of all that or the final outcome that is going to be the uh, nine of wands with the page of pentacles those who search those will find so especially for those which are single this is the appearance of a person here because the nine of wands according to the Alistair Crowley is the bondage in between the opposite sex which means that this is the bondage in between the man and the woman <clears throat> in general in between the masculine and the feminine energy and with the page of pentacles here this is very likely to be someone from that same social circle you're going to be build up build up uh build up with so we are going out of career here all right having fun and enjoying yourself despite what uh, those around you find it that those around you is finding it very immature not serious but in the same time you know they are not going to drop off the support from you uh, <clears throat> having fun into your social circle it is likely to find the one that will answer to your emotional expression and the one who will be able to do it with very very warm approach and emotions not to mention that these cards guys are showing the near completion of a cycle of great dedication and devotion you had until now and you need to keep up doing the same thing as I said this month it is just filling up the gaps and when the month is nearly over then you will have the resolution you require in order to finalize that important cycle here <clears throat> these cards also speak at the very uh, these couple of cards are also speaking that if you do have an adversary due at that particular month someone wants to bring you down etc etc they won't be able to just on the contrary with all of their actions the only one brought down is going to be themselves so with that being said, Virgos, this was your uh, Monte Tar reading June 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.